the first thing you need to do is, is do a mind shift. You know, you, you, you need to shift your mind because most salespeople are, are trained, you know, to go and get orders. You know, they have to crush their quotas and things like that. So they're, they're really trained to, to hunt. Um, whereas social selling is, it, it, it's not actually about selling. It's, it's about creating relationships, about creating engagement with, with, your, with your audience, with your, your prospects. Um, um, so you need to, to, to shift your mind. And um, it was an experience I had uh, a number of years ago now. My, my oldest child is now, now 12, but he was, um, he was six at the time. We were driving back from, from vacation in the, um, in the south of France. Um, and my car got into a, into a skid. Um, and it went all over the place. And it, it, I had my wife beside me, three kids on the, on the back seat. And uh, that's the scariest thing that happens to you as a father. You know, that's, that, that was just, but I finally got my car under control and I, I, you know, I stopped. It was no damage either. Um, and my heart was like, like here, it's the scariest thing that happened to me. And then, so I look in the mirror to see, you know, if my, my kids are all right, expecting them to be completely, you know, shocked. And my son who's in the middle says, can we do that again? See, that's it. He had a completely different perspective on the situation. He was like, I love this. So, and that's the whole thing with, with, with social selling as well. People don't understand how great LinkedIn is for you as a salesperson because all of your prospects are on LinkedIn. If you're in a B2B environment, all of your prospects are on there and you can find them. You can reach out to them. And if you start selling straight away, sure, you know, you're going to lose them. But if you start providing value, if you start adding value to their lives, making their lives better, making their, their pro professions you know, easier, you're, you're going you're gonna to create engaging relationships. And it's that easy, really. So that's what social selling is. And of course, you need to, you need to make sure that you, you've got the right, you take the right steps. You know? And uh, the very first thing that you always need to do is create a, a professional LinkedIn profile. Um, a unique uh, strategic and professional LinkedIn profile. So make sure that it's, you know, it's about you and people recognize you straight away. And there's a couple of things you know, that you, you really need to pay attention to, but I'm sure other people will go into that in, in other interviews. Am I right? Or do you want me to, to, to yeah, talk no, about that? Um, yeah, it's, it, it's kind of covered uh, before, but if you want to just you know, quickly in you know, 30 seconds or something like that, cover the, the, the main things people should be covering to kind of take this process of you know, taking them through the whole social selling process into a, into a new customer. Great. Well, focus on your headline. Your headline is your, your, it's, it's like the entry ticket to, to your profile. It, it, it decides whether people will or will not open your profile. So you enter, you know, the headline should already be appealing. Then make sure that your, your, your summary is just great, but has a, includes a call to action. And I know LinkedIn doesn't like it, but you, you want to include a call to action to your own website, you know, get them, get them to your, your own, get them to your own environment um, so that you can continue the relationship there and, you know, build it up to another, another level, you know, provide some, something like a checklist or, or, or provide a, a video or, or, a white paper or a case study, something of value, you know, offer something of value, uh, build on that relation. And then third, but and that's what most people seem to forget because, you know, you need to be found on LinkedIn as well. So include your keywords in the right places and especially in your current title. Um, your current job title it defines whether you are actually seen as relevant by LinkedIn or not. If you just says account manager, forget about it, you know, you're not really that relevant for LinkedIn because there's other people who will have account manager, telecom, for example. Well, they're going to be found for telecom rather than the, the other guy who just has account manager. So focus on that as well. So, but, you know, I can talk about three hours on, on just profile and I, I usually do. So, so we will stop on that. But, uh, so that's the first thing. You need to have a good profile. Then you need to share, share content. So I call that the, you know, your LinkedIn personal branding, and, and you can do that in about 20 minutes a day. And, um, and as, as we agreed, you know, I'm, I'm providing you with the documents. Um, uh, and for everybody who's, 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 who's paying, um, they, will, they will get that document for free uh, as, as part of the program. So it's a 10-step it's a, it's a program on, on what to do when, uh, which maximizes 20 minutes a day maximum. Um, and you will shoot you know, uh, to, to the, you will won't know it. I, I had a, I had a client who did it a couple of weeks ago and he responded to me. So I can't believe it. My, my profile views have, have skyrocketed 1700% increase in, in, in profile views. 
1700% in just over a week and a half worked for him. So, so it works. It's, and it's great. So it's a, and just a, it's a, it's a 10 step program. And I will share that with you. Um, and then of course, social selling, you know, how to find your customers, how to, uh, and how to, how to connect with them and, and how to, you know, get that relation to another level. I call it collect, you know, collecting your, your, your suspects, connect, connecting with them as prospects, convert, how to convert the relationship. So collect, connect, convert. It's, it's a, you know, it's a typical three C's, you know, we always love them, but, uh, so, uh, collect, connect, convert. Um, and I'm happy to show you a couple of, a uh, couple of, um, uh, you know, like a demonstration of that, you know, what's, um, for example, if, um, let me just share my screen with you here. Um, here we go, Google Chrome. Um, if I go to, for example, if I go to, um, uh, let me see, who's viewed my profile, for example. Um, now, what, what you will see is, um, well, there's one thing I also want to recommend, recommend everybody. You know, if you're serious about sales, uh, if you're really serious about getting clients, upgrade to the pre premium profile, really. Um, you know, it, it's it's not cheap anymore. It used to be quite expensive. It used to be quite quite uh, quite uh, affordable. Now it's it's not it's not that cheap. It's, it's about forty five euros here per month. Um, on the other hand, you know, what does what does one client bring you? You know, and what about one client a month or one client you know or two clients a month? What what will that bring you? you no, know? and if one client brings you just just a little bit, nah, you may not want to upgrade. But most people have you know, a client is worth quite a bit of money. So. Now I'm going to give you an example here. For example, I, I saw that that here, if you, if you go to um, uh, to who viewed my profile and you, you upgrade it, you can actually sort by you know uh, by who, who you know what your viewers do, like business owner, founder, partner, corporate trainer, salesperson, and I can see that you know exactly. So I can also see um, uh, what companies they work for. For example, see I see uh, there's a couple from banks, Tele2, Multicopy. Uh, nine viewers who work at LinkedIn. That's always interesting, of course. Um, um, but if I if I look at the title and I go to, for example, founder partner, um, and I scroll down, I I, I will see. Okay, um, do I see anything interesting? Well, I see it straight away. Message is somebody I'm already connected to, and connect means I'm not connected yet. It means it's 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 a potential prospect for me. Now I found, uh, for example, Vasil Azarov here. Uh, empowering entrepreneurs and data-driven marketers, growth marketing conference, startup socials. That's interesting for me. He, he could be potentially interesting for me. So now what most people then do is they just click the connect button right here. Um, that's the worst thing you can do. Um, they visited your profile. Obviously, there's some type of interest. You, you, you raised some interest somewhere. Um, what you want to do is open their profile. Um, and then, of course, what you can do, you can connect right here. Um, uh, which is which is the easiest thing to do, but you can also, and that's a tip that most people actually don't know. But if you go just underneath his profile picture, you'll see the little star, and if you click on that, it says "Save to Contacts." And if you save it, uh, and then go to Connections, and then you will do Sort by. You'll need to do Saved. And then sort by new, filter by saved, sort by new. You'll see he, him, him at the top. Now, for some people, it'll if you do sort by new, it'll already work. And some people, it won't. So uh, you need to discover that for yourself. But if I now click connect, I do not have to specify how I know him. It doesn't matter anyway. But, but also, my message can be a lot longer than the 300 characters maximum that I normally have. So, And I would just send him a message, you know. Like, um, uh, hi, Vessel, and I'm doing it live, hoping he'll connect and then see the show afterwards. Like, hey, that was me on there. So, hey, Vessel, sorry about that. Um, thank you for interesting my LinkedIn profile. I appreciate it. Would love to hear what you con what concretely drove you to my profile. If I can help you in any way regarding social selling or otherwise, please do reach out. Okay, I'd also like that to add my network. I hope you're open to this. Thanks, Perry. Now, I get about a 70 to 80 percent positive response rate to that. Because I personalized it, because I looked at their profile. So they see I look back at their profile. So they, they see there's an interest somewhere. So, um, so you, want, you, want to, you want to use that. You, you want to use that feature from LinkedIn. So